it's a comedy drama. It's a story about a family, the Kelly family, who um, live in um, a, a notional, uh, fictitious um, community that um, is part of Harvey Bay. Uh, it's uh, written a story that's written from uh, the experience of a family who actually did live in Harvey Bay, Bay for many, many years. Um, and uh, it was their recollection of when um, a housing uh, property developer went under and how financially that had a big impact on the local community and really pulled all the sort of relationships apart to some extent. Um, and yet it's a funny film. It has lots of, uh, you know, the sort of Queensland humour that a lot of us recognise, certainly I do, and that's why I like the story. So, yes, it's a, it's a complex story, but it's a lot of laughs and I know Queenslanders, truly enjoy this story. Mm. What was it about the storyline of, of the film that really appealed to you? I mean, you just mentioned the humour there. Was it just the humour or were there other aspects to it that really appealed to you? I think the humour had all, it was intrinsically um, what probably uh, brought me into the risk arena, which means that, you know, when you take on a project, it means many, many years of your life. Mm. And so you need to feel very uh, motivated by it in order to take that risk. So the humour, I think, was a way of getting an audience to truly engage because it is very funny in parts, but emotionally the story takes you into some quite deep places to do with trust and mateship and loyalty um, and, you know, how we're all affected by the global economic um, situation currently. Yeah. And so the humour is a way of bringing those important ideas and uh, experiences in a very um, entertaining way. And I think that's why I liked it. What about the experience of uh, filming this in Harvey Bay? What was that like? Oh, don't get me started. I mean, <laughs> I miss Harvey Bay. I really should be there now. This is the time of the year, of course, where people who are... Um, in the southern regions, and I spend a lot of time in Sydney as well as in Brisbane, mm. start getting very moisty-eyed around uh, Enzo sitting there having a coffee beside the bay or, um, mm. you know, going and, and hanging a fishing line off Urangan Pier. I think you're still allowed to do that. And, um, you know, the, the colours of the place. I mean, it is a sensational place at any time of the year. But coming into the autumn and the winter, it really takes on a special significance. And that's when we shot this film. And yes, we had wonderful memories. And the crew, I mean, the, the, all of us still talk about it. And uh, and the community of Harvey Bay could not have been more welcoming. Yep. And there was a great Australian filmmaking lineup behind Subdivision. Tell us who was involved. Well, Sue Brooks is the director. And Sue, uh, of course, has had attention in Cannes. She had a film called Japanese Story that had a lot of um, uh, regard and, and, in fact, was selected for a section of Cannes Film Festival called Un Certain Regard, meaning something like that, <laughs> um, a special <laughs> film. Yeah. And, uh, yes, there's uh, a lot of wonderful cast, Steve Bisley, um, Gary Sweet, who plays Digger Kelly, the stalwart father of the... Of the um, community who's also the football coach and, and reminds you of a lot of, you know, if you've got a stern father but one who's got a lot of community respect, that's what Tigger Kelly's like. So um, the, uh, the character is played beautifully by Gary Sweet. Um, there is Bruce Spence, if you remember the character Stork many years ago and he was in Mad Max way, way, way back. Well, he's a and in the Harry Potter films. He's, he's been around and is a wonderful actor. Um, the newcomer to the stage was Ashley Bradnam. And Ashley, of course, was a Nova um, high-profile uh, presenter, um, is still working in the world of media, but uh, it was his debut movie, which he also wrote. Um, so Ashley Bradnam plays the lead role of Jack Kelly, and I think it was the editor of Encore magazine recently said that Ashley was the best new talent on in film um, in recent times. So... Yes, uh, Brooke hmm. Satchwell, who um, is just absolutely a uh, wonderful actress and was gorgeous in this film. The list goes on. It's a, it's an ensemble film with lots of high-profile Australian actors. Certainly a great lineup, that's for sure. And it uh, made its way to the, the Cannes Film Festival. How was it received there? Well, it was almost a year ago, um, in, this, in May, actually, um, last year. Well, it was primarily um, aimed at the local uh, French audiences who go to Cannes Film Festival. 
and they're probably the most discerning audiences uh, because they're not there to um, be on the red carpet and show uh, show off their clothes. They're there because they're cinephiles, um, st- truly serious about their movies. They loved this film. It um, had also a French uh, subtitles on it, so they were getting the subtleties also of the um, of the humour. Mm. And uh, do you think yeah, they could understand? I mean, you think they could understand the humour? They exactly right. I mean, I was amazed and a little nervous at first. It played, I think, five times in Cannes at the film festival. Um, and there were a lot of uh, English-speaking audiences as well. But I particularly loved the idea that the film translates into other languages. And uh, I think um, it's going to be seen in other many other countries around the world as time goes on. Mm. And it's just been released on DVD. Do we get some uh, special features there? The special features are um, some of the scenes that didn't quite make the cut, though they, you know, it was highly competitive and, uh, you know, they're very good quality scenes, but, you know, you've always got a time limit on your movies. But, uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, great great deleted scenes um, that are very, very funny. Uh, Lots of um, information about how the film was made, some, uh, you know, lots of history of how the story came about and some very funny interviews with the cast. So, uh, yeah, one to keep for your library. I mean, a lot of people are calling this film an Aussie classic already, which is pretty good. It's only silly new. So I think if you're interested in buying good Australian m- movies, it's one for the library. If you just want to have a laugh, um, grab a, um, a beer or a, another sort of beverage, doesn't have to be alcoholic, um, with uh, some friends and have a night of it on uh, DVD. Rent it out for the evening. You'll have a lot of fun. And uh, Trish, you've left Harvey Bay behind for for the time being, but what what are you currently working on? What project are you up to right now? Well, I have an eye to um, regional Queensland, I think, because the new film that I'm hoping to have in production soon is called Red Earth, and it's to be uh, filmed in uh, far north Queensland around uh, Mossman, um, and it's set in the sugarcane uh, climbs of um, north Queensland back in uh, the late 19th century, so a period film about the Chinese experience in North Queensland back in that day. Um, and yes, we've just finished another film called My America, a cinema documentary which will be out in a couple of months' time in cinemas and on SBS. So um, no rest for the uh, filmmakers. And, uh, our, uh, you know, seriously, pr- th- this film, Subdivision, is really uh, worth a look. And we've got a Facebook page and there's a Freshwater channel on YouTube. So if you're really interested in the content, jump online and, um, and you know, have a taste. We'll have to check it out. Trish Lake, great having a chat. Thanks for your time this morning. Great. See you later.